Loving God, we thank you this morning to call upon your name. Thank you for your grace and mercy. Pray for your Holy Spirit to germinate around our life. Thanks through the power of grace in Jesus' name. Amen. So I thought I took a pause that I have take a time to come back. Somehow still I was I'm still doing the work otherwise. So may God bless us. Um I'm just gonna put in my few little words from the Bible. I may bring good taste to your hearing. I may be a blessing to your life for eternity. Ephesians 6 verse 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Proverbs 6 verse 20. My son, keep thy father's commandment, and forsake not thy law of thy mother. Ephesians 6 verse 2. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Verse 3, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayst live long on the earth. And he fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Genesis 18 verse 19, for I know him that he will command his children and his household after him. And they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he has spoken of him. Proverbs 22 verse 6, Train up a child, in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Ephesians 6 verse 5. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in singleness of your heart, as unto Christ. Ephesians 6 verse 6. Not with eye service as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. Verse 7, with good will doing service as to the Lord and not to man. Ephesians verse 6 verse 8, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doth, the same shall he receive of the Lord whether he be bound or free. Matthew 16, 27. For the Son of Man shall... For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with, the, with his angel, and then he shall reward every man according to his work. Ephesians 6 verse 9 And he mother Do the same thing unto them For bearing threatening Knowing that your master also is in heaven Neither is there respect of persons with him Put on the whole armor of God Ephesians 6 verse 10 Finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. 2 Timothy 2 verse 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 6 11. Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Romans 13 verse 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. Ephesians 4 verse 14. That we henceforth be no more children toasted to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men 
and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Ephesians 6.12 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians 1, 3, 21 and 22, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Verse 21, for above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Verse 22, and has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. Ephesians 6, 13. Therefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that he may be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Ephesians 5, 16. Redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Ephesians 6, 14. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having all the breastplate of righteousness. Isaiah 11, 5. And righteousness shall be the girdle of your loins, and faithfulness the girdle of your loins. Isaiah 59, 17. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate, and an helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing. And was clad with, with zeal as a cloak. Luke 12, 35. Let your lines be girded about and your light burning. Ephesians 6.15 And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Isaiah 52.7 How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that said unto Zion, thy God reigneth. Roman 10, 15. And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Above all, take the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Verse 17, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Verse 18, praying always with all prayers and supplication in the spirit and walk and wear and watching whereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Ephesians 1 16. Cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. Colossians 4 2. Continue in prayer and watching in the same with thanksgiving. 1 Timothy 2 1. Exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Ephesians 6.19 And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Acts 4.29 And now, Lord, behold their threatenings 
and grant unto thy servant that which all boldness may they may speak thy word. Second Corinthians three twelve. See then that we have such hope we are great plainness of speech. First Thessalonians five twenty five. Brethren, pray for us. Ephesians 6.20, for which I am an ambassador in bond, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. 2 Corinthians 5.20, now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be he reconciled to God. For this cause, I call the prisoner of Jesus Christ for your Gentiles. May the grace of God bless us and keep us to the end of his world. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for everything. Cover us under your blood. Help that the word will germinate and bring blessing upon our life. And may everything be a steadfastness in you. Bless the ministry of mine. Cover me under your blood. Heal my life unto thee. Bless my children too. And may the glory of God over in us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful, lovely day. To the will of God. Amen.